glance, you may think the assembly line at Wheeled Coach looks like controlled chaos. But take a closer look. The company's ambulance assembly activity actually uses a combination of assembly line and work cell layouts, all aided by a precise arrangement of people, skills, and tools. The assembly process starts with the bill of materials for a single customer vehicle order. Each department or work cell involved in the assembly of that vehicle is given work orders just in time to complete its contribution to assembly. For example, the sheet metal building must first fabricate the aluminum outer shell or skin that goes onto the ambulance chassis. This takes five work days. Then the paint department takes three days to prep and paint the exterior surfaces. In the meantime, the upholstery department begins stitching the interior seats and cushions. The plexiglass department will make the interior cabinet windows and doors, including the metal frames. The carpentry department cuts the wood and formica countertop material, then builds the cabinets that will go inside the ambulance. The electrical department will assemble the wire harnesses that connect lights, medical equipment, ventilators, and life support to the chassis power supplies. When the painted chassis are ready for assembly, they're driven to one of five assembly stations on the main line. There, they'll spend eight days. All five assembly lines move in parallel at the end of each workday to the next station. Employees don't quit until the work for that day is done. The facility layout at Wheeled Coach Industries is a good example of how operations management techniques can be applied to a real manufacturing setting. It also shows why layout is one of the 10 critical decisions of operations management.